Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make this cool, multi-layered, isometric design and add animation. So let's jump into it. As usual, the first thing we'll do is go to File, New, Blank Presentation, right click and choose Layout, Blank. I'm just going to quickly paste in the colours I'm going to use and move them off the page very slightly. I'll just quickly add the text and then we can get started with the shapes. I'm going to make this pop-ins, bold, 60 point for the word isometric, 120 point for the word design, and I'm going to make design the blue, and isometric, the pink. Now let's create the shapes. The first one will be this rounded corner rectangle. And the default size will be just fine for this. And I'm going to set it to no outline. And make the shape fill the pink colour. Now I'm going to add a second rounded corner rectangle. And for this one, I would like the size to be about seven centimeters by three and a half centimeters. And I'm going to click on this yellow dot, pull it all the way in to make it fully rounded. Now I'm going to take off the outline, shape outline, no outline, and I'm going to make the color the pink. And to make the shape I used, I'm going to combine two different shapes. So if I click on oval, click anywhere to add this, I'm going to drag it into position and then if you hold down Control and Shift and drag the corner, you can see that it'll expand from the center. Now I'm going to hold down Shift and just move it down slightly. If we click on the pink shape first and then the blue circle, we can now go to Shape Format, Merge Shapes and choose Combine. And for the next shape, I had a teardrop shape. So if you go to Drawing on the toolbar and you go down to Basic Shapes on the second row, you'll find this teardrop. We'll just click to add this here. Again, the default size is absolutely fine. I'm going to make sure this is the color I want and click shape outline, no outline. I'm now going to move this down by holding shift, press control D to duplicate, put it back up where the guides appear, and then I'm going to flip this vertically. And there's our shape. Finally, we had an arrow, so from the drawing menu, we'll just choose arrow down. Again, we'll choose no outline and a pink shape fill. So there's our shapes. Now let's add the isometric effects. And for the text, I'm going to choose the preset isometric bottom down. So we click on the text, we can right click and choose format shape. Then we'll go to shape options, choose the effects section and then reveal the 3D rotation options with this drop down. And then we can go to presets. We'll be looking for this option in parallel called isometric bottom down. We'll apply the same preset to the design. I'll just move these down slightly. and We'll position this roughly where we want it. We'll now bring in this square shape with the rounded corners and we'll go to shape options and under the 3D rotation for this we're going to choose isometric top up. Isometric bottom down for the arrow and then isometric bottom down for both of these shapes at the bottom. And for this shape I'm going to click on both of these, Control G, and add the isometric bottom down effect to both of them at the same time. Just drag these into position. I can move the whole lot of this down very slightly. That's looking great. Now let's add our second layer. So we can click on this, press Ctrl D, drag it roughly into position, right click, center back, and I'm going to make this the blue color. And so to get the nice 
multi-layered effect that I had. I'm going to right click on the pink, choose format shape. We're going to add a drop shadow and we're going to change the distance from ground. So we can go to effects and then under the 3D rotation, you'll see distance from ground. I'm going to make these all the top layer ones 20 point. And now I'm going to go to a preset for a shadow. Just choose offset bottom right. And in this example, I don't want any blur on any of these. I'm going to choose 75% to have slightly more transparent effect, 70 degree angle, and then I'm going to adjust the distance to suit. I'm going to say about 15 point on this will do, and then just drag it into position and use the cursors for some fine adjustment. There, that looks pretty good. Now let's quickly apply it to some of the others. Control D, right click, center back, make it the blue. And then make sure that these are set 20 point. Drag it into position. Now we'll add the shadow. Go to presets, 70% transparency, naught blur, angle of about 50, and distance of about 50. You can adjust this to suit whatever looks good. Control D on this to duplicate, right click, center back, make it blue. And I'm actually going to flip this one round by flipping it vertically, pull it down roughly into the right place. And now add the shadow and the distance from ground on this one. Nought blur, 70% transparency. And for this, I'm gonna leave the angle on 45. And then I'm gonna choose 60 point for the distance. You can just pick these up and drag them to wherever you think you want the shadow. Again, you can put it anywhere you like whatever looks good, but try and be consistent on the page design so the shadows fall in roughly the same place. Looking good. Finally, gonna do this teardrop. I'm gonna press Control D to duplicate it. Rotate this. Now we can select both of these, press Control D, drag them roughly into the right place, right click, center back, and make them the blue color. Now we'll add the shadow to both of these. Again, 70% transparency and no blur. For this, I went with distance 50 point. Distance from ground 20. Then we'll just add the shadow to this one. About 150, about 50 will do. Looking pretty good. So I'll just move these teardrop ones up a bit. Then select both of these and move those up a bit. Finally, select them all, put them roughly in the middle. We can now delete our color references. Great! A really quick way of making some interesting isometric design. And as a bonus, just going to show you how you can animate this all nicely onto the page, as in my initial example. So we'll click on the slide, press Ctrl D to duplicate, and on the second slide, we want to make sure that we have transitions and morph is selected. So now all we've got to do is go to the first page. I'm going to zoom out slightly and then move everything off the page in the way we want it to reveal in on the next page. So I'm going to drag these all off at angles. And it doesn't have to be exact you can always fine tune it afterwards.
the ones that are further out will be the ones that take longer to come in. And now if we play and advance to the next slide, you can see how they come in. So I might want to stagger these a bit more by just pulling them further out. Excellent. There we go. Really quick way of animating an isometric design and creating this design from scratch with shapes in PowerPoint. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.